Yesterday we saw the president say that churches can open, but a lot of the states are saying they can't. How do, what, what, where, do, where does the Constitution fit in all this? Well, the Tenth Amendment says the powers not delegated by the, by the Constitution to the federal government are reserved to the states. And we didn't delegate any authority to the federal government to govern over our states. So for the federal government, whether it be the Supreme Court or the Congress or the President of the United States, the power is very, very limited and defined. And so we did not delegate to the president the authority to tell the governors or the people of their state what to do, what they can't do. The power over the people in the internal order of affairs, the lives, the liberties, the properties of the people are all reserved to the state governments. And so the president can issue uh, encouragement, he can issue guidance, and he can get angry and use forceful language. But constitutionally speaking, these are matters that have to be left with the state. Right. And that's very important because right now we have way too many people looking at the federal government to solve their problems. Right. And it creates an uneducated and lazy constituency. Oh, I don't have to do anything because A.G. Barr is going to do something. I don't right. have to do anything because Trump's going to come and save me. When right. the reality is our constitutional republic is essentially maintained by the people. We have separation of powers between the federal and the state governments. The majority of the power is reserved to the states because at the state level we have the power. Our problem is we have become federally infatuated. Right. We have this serious love affair with federal government right. and the glamour of it. Right. But in reality, and this is what I'm going to be talking about today when I get on the stage, Californians have no clue what their state constitution says. Right. And everything that Gavin Newsom is doing violates seven clauses in the California constitution. Wow. And his oath is to the Constitution of the United States and to the Constitution of the state of California. Wow. So he is currently violating seven clauses in the California Constitution. Wow. Some of them essential, I mean absolutely essential in the separation of powers. Right. So for example, the California Constitution says that the legislative power is reserved to the legislative branch alone and that no other branch or person can exercise the power of the legislative branch. So for Gaz Gavin Newsom to issue orders and expect them to be enforced like laws, he is violating one of the most essential principles of Republican government, separation of powers. And James Madison said that when the power of the legislative and the executive are joined into one person, liberty cannot survive. Wow.